Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to share an update on the Open Drone Map project. Stephen Mather and team have been busy with the latest updates. And in a previous video, I talked through the process of taking aerial imagery. This is a previous image set, about 90 photos, that I used to demonstrate how to run it through Open Drone Map and create point clouds in your digital surface models. Then from that, we went through a series of steps to import them into MeshLab. And just recently, the Open Drone Map team has knocked out bullet point number three here. So textured digital surface models. And definitely stay tuned as we're going to see orthorectified imagery, classified point clouds, and digital elevation models. So exciting stuff. Wanted to show you what the output of number three looks like. So you can see here, I'm in my photos directory. I run the open drone map script. It goes through a series of steps we discussed before. It reads all the images, the camera sensor info, as well as starts to resize all the images, matches key points, runs it through Bundler, CMVS, PMVS, all that stuff. And don't worry if you don't know what those are. Spend a bunch of time Googling and reading different papers. But what's new now is the texturing process. And that's what ultimately creates a textured object file that we can open in MeshLab. And when that processing was done, as with every open drone map project, you get two folders. You have a initial folder that has your key points, all of that information here, and then you have your results. Previously, the results included these PLY files as well as your bundle files. And we use those to create the textured image in MeshLab. But now you'll see this folder ODM texturing, and this is really great. All you need to do, select it, open with MeshLab. It'll load all of these textures here. And here we have the textured model in MeshLab. You can see the results are really good. If you look close enough, you may see some seams, some difference in brightness, but that can all be adjusted in a image editing program. And let me just rotate it. You can notice some of the texture and elevation going on right here. And so far, I've been just really impressed with the results of this project and it's starting to gain momentum. The project is definitely still in, a, in its infancy, but I highly encourage you guys, for those who are interested to get involved, you can see there's some contributions. I've made a few pretty minor updates, but every single commit matters. Now lastly, there is an ODM data project. I'm going to put the images from this Calatera project in here. These are great source images that you can use if you want to just test and see how the process goes without having to use your own imagery. So I'll push that in a few days. You'll see it show up here. Definitely encourage you guys to download the project, check it out. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. Until next time, thanks for watching.